trust be rebuilt once it's broken? Can a thief find redemption? These questions form the crux of an exceptional narrative, a tale painted with hues of and change. As we dive deep into this story, we are introduced to a bustling city, teeming with life, energy, and abundant opportunities. The city, with its myriad characters and stories, serves as the perfect backdrop for an intriguing narrative about two distinct individuals, Anil and Harry Singh. Anil is portrayed as a young man with a fierce passion for wrestling. His life revolves around the dirt rings and physical battles that define his existence. Engrossed in wrestling match, he is unaware of the eyes watching him, evaluating him, those of Harry Singh. Harry Singh, on the other hand, is depicted as a man with a past as twisted as the narrow alleyways of the city. A thief by profession, he has a history of deceit and treachery. His life is a labyrinth of wrong turns and dead ends, each one echoing with tales of betrayal. Now, he finds himself seeking his next target to exploit, unknowingly embarking on a journey of transformation. The story that unfolds from here is one of redemption and change, of broken trust mended through unlikely friendships. It's about second chances and the power human spirit to transcend its past. As the city bustles with life, we find ourselves drawn into the lives of two individuals, Anil and Hari Singh. Anil, a young man engrossed in a wrestling match, and Hari, a thief with a troubled past seeking to exploit his mark. Yet, as fate would have it, instead of simply being a victim, Anil becomes a mentor to Hari. An unexpected turn of events indeed, considering the circumstances that befell him. He could have chosen to wallow in self-pity, to let the misfortune define him. But he didn't. He chose to rise. And in his rise, he didn't just elevate himself. He chose to pull others up with him, particularly Hari, a young boy with a heart full of dreams, but a life fraught with challenges. Anil saw in Hari a reflection of his own past, his own struggles. He recognized the spark in Harry's eyes, the same spark that once glowed in his own, a spark that refused to be extinguished by the harsh winds of adversity. It was this spark that Anil chose to nurture. His teachings went beyond the conventional parameters of academics and skills. Yes, he taught him how to cook, how to calculate numbers, all the essential skills to survive in the brutal world. But he also taught him about kindness, about resilience, about standing up for oneself and others. How to navigate the difficult paths that life often throws at us, not just with intelligence, but with heart. Anil became the beacon of hope for Hari, a beacon that not only illuminated the path for him, but also made him believe in his own capabilities to tread that path. He made Hari understand that being a better person is not a destination, but a journey. A journey that starts with self-belief and ends with impacting others positively. Teaching him not just how to cook or do arithmetic, but how to be a better person. But Harry, still tethered to his past, finds himself caught in a whirlwind of conflicting emotions. An internal battle begins to rage within him, a struggle between his past and his present. The past, dark and filled with shadows, is a place where survival meant the bending of moral codes and the scrapping of ethics. This past tugs at Hari, a relentless reminder of a life he's led and the choices he's made. On the other hand, stands his present, personified by his relationship with Anil. Anil, a character who has unknowingly become a beacon of hope in Hari's life, a symbol of trust, kindness and respect. Traits that were once alien to Hari, now becoming gradually familiar. Anil has treated him with dignity, something he has never known in his past. This experience with Anil has sparked a sense of respect within Hari, and he has never truly felt before. The temptation to revert to his old ways, to betray Anil and steal from him, gnaws at his conscience. The whispers of his past grow louder, more insistent. However, the newfound respect he has developed for Anil holds him back, echoing in the quieter corners of his mind. 
This internal war is etched on his face, visible in his every move. In a moment of weakness, he succumbs to his old ways and steals money from an ill. As he sits alone in the deserted train station, a profound silence surrounds him, broken only by the distant echo of a cough or the clattering of a lone rat. There is a heavy chill in the air, like an uninvited guest whispering tales of solitude. The station, once a bustling hive of life, now stands as an abandoned monument of time. The rusty train tracks, like veins of forgotten memories, disappear into the desolate night. Harry is not just sitting there, he's drowning, sinking into the depths of his own regret. His mind is a battlefield, wrestling with the choices he's made. He remembers the allure of the glittering jewels, so enticing, so deceptive. The thrill of stolen riches, once electrifying, now leaves a sour taste in his mouth replacing his hunger for wealth with a cold sense of unease. The thrum of silence in the station resonates within him, a chilling reminder of the loneliness of greed. He realizes, with a pang of regret, that the echoing emptiness mirrors his own life, devoid of true connections. The taste of betrayal, of lost friendships, of burnt bridges, lingers bitterly on his tongue. He contemplates his actions, grappling with the weight of his past decisions. He has traded bonds for baubles, relationships for riches, and now he is left with nothing but the hollow echo of his own loneliness. His heart wrenches as the realization hits him like a freight train. He finally understands the true meaning of wealth. It isn't found in hidden vaults or glittering gems. It isn't found in the exhilaration of a heist or the thrill of escape. He realizes that true wealth isn't found in stolen riches, but in genuine connections and self-respect. Choosing redemption over easy money, Harry returns the stolen money and faces his actions. A sense of guilt had been gnawing at him from the moment he took the money, a burning feeling that consumed him from the inside out. He knew he had betrayed the trust Anil had placed in him from the beginning. The world offered him countless ways to get lost in its chaos, yet he chose dishonesty, a decision that felt like a burning thorn in his heart. He had grown up in a world that taught him the easiest way to survive was to snatch and steal. Yet, as he held the stolen money in his hands, the triumph he had expected felt hollow. The taste of victory turned bitter in his mouth. He looked at the money a symbol of his betrayal, and suddenly it felt dirtier than he could bear. His decision to return the money wasn't easy. It was the hardest thing he had ever done, but he knew he needed to do this to find peace within himself. He needed to take responsibility for his actions. Anil, on the other hand, despite being aware of Harry's wrongdoings, was surprised by Harry's actions. He had seen many like Harry, giving in to the lure of easy money choosing the wrong path. But Harry was different. Even in the face of betrayal, he chose to forgive. He saw a spark in Harry, a sign of change. Despite knowing of Harry's misdeed, he admired his courage and honesty, the strength of his character that shone through his actions. In response, Anil, despite knowing of Harry's misdeed, offers him forgiveness and a fresh start. Hari's journey from a thief to a man of integrity is a testament to the power of trust and redemption. It's a story that reminds us that it's never too late to change, to choose the right path, and to seek forgiveness. Through their story, we see how trust, once broken, can indeed be rebuilt, and how even a thief can find redemption. It's a tale that speaks to the power of second chances and the transformative impact of trust and forgiveness. In the end, the thief's story is more than just a tale of a thief's redemption. It's a story about the power of trust, the importance of integrity, and the possibility of second chances. It's a reminder to all of us that no matter where we've come from, we have the power to change our future. And so, as we bid farewell to Anil and Hari, we are left with a profound sense of hope. A hope that no matter where we've come from or what we've done, 
It's never too late for redemption. It's never too late to choose a path of honesty, integrity, and self-respect. Thank you for joining us on this journey through The Thief Story. Until next time, remember, trust can be rebuilt, and redemption is always within reach.